area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous Good motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster With all See you and I verse to ascend for the belt but on this here earth stage, you have become a mermaid. Today, you're going to have to fend for yourself. Before we start, can I have a moment of silence because I'm prone to the violence? I roll with the wildest. Couldn't get this education if you went to a college and this gear dripping came from Europe. You couldn't get these clothes from a stylist. Salute to Showtime SP. Salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to get your mans, click and bland, follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi, I appreciate all of you guys, but uh, I want to get into this max out RBE, just my final thoughts, so I won't get caught, um, before you stick a fork in me, take this walk with me, and we won't do it awkwardly, um, I will say this, I appreciate every single person who watches who wants to know about the recaps, the folks who had the pay-per-view, the ones who didn't have the pay-per-view. I'm not here to hate on you, and I'm not trying to make this debatable. King Lowe's vs. Daylight was one of them ones. One of them lyrical, spiritual, miracle, critical, pitiful, individual ones. I did speak to Daylight last night. I let him know my thoughts um, about the battle, who I felt like won. Um, you know, and, and I will tell you this, King Lowe's earned his last night. King Los earned his. If he never was one of them ones that you thought would be able to be on a battle rap platform and really, really showcase his talent, he did that last night. He definitely did that last night. Um, he had Twitter in a frenzy. He wanted to earn his. He wanted to, he didn't want, in the first round, he wasn't probably getting some of the reactions that he might have wanted, but he was super lyrical. So he wanted to earn his, and I could respect that. I want to earn mine. Don't give me nothing. Don't give me nothing. Make me earn it. Make me earn your like. Make me earn your subscription. Make me earn your following. Earn. Make me earn it. Don't give me nothing. I like that, King Los. I like that. ARP. I'm getting, I want you to get, fo I want y'all niggas to be focused with me. Keep King Los around. I want to see King Los in some more battles. I want to see Los get it on because he could kick it like Inter Milan. I know you see the jersey, don't hurt me. Um, his first round, he was on some shit. He said, when they said Daylight was an animal, I came to make a mark of the beast. That was fire. I can do mantras and move all kind of shit. Like his lyrical content was on a high level. Um, I hope he ain't come to play games with the kid cause Minecraft is different. Minecraft play games with the kid. Minecraft is different. Low, so I'm low, low. So I'm not gonna ask you when you start rapping like that cause I already know. Um, he was wilding all throughout his first round. Daylight, daylight, daylight's first round. He starts going fucking crazy. Double split experiment. I came to make Adam. I came to make a change with Adam. The Adam changed the double split experiment. Daylight's first round was probably one of his best first rounds that this motherfucker ever had. Uh, I took this just to make Adam change. On this stage, you have became a mermaid. You gonna have to fin for yourself. He told him on this stage, you have become a mermaid. You gonna have to fend for yourself. Then the next line after that was C King. C King. <laughs> Woo! 
keep you a toaster. Listen to the intro song, my nigga. Yo, that shit was crazy. Uh, I ain't been on cam a lot. I had to pull my sword out of rock for you, crazy. Niggas become completely quiet till they get mutilated. Mutilate. Niggas become completely quiet till they get mutilated. That was fire day. Um, in the lobby with the lobbyist homie. <laughs> Rapping. I'm in the lobby with the lobbyist, homie, it's Marty. Oh my god, that nigga started bugging in his verse. I'm in the lobby with the lobbyist, Marty. That niggas don't recap, like, me and SP, y'all niggas, it's, it's, it's here, and then it's like here, like here, like here, here, here. Like, it's a, it's, it's, it's levels in this shit. Nigga said, I lobby with the lobbyist, homie, it's Marty. Oh my god, he was wilding in his first. Sea moss couldn't get you this chlorophyll fire. It's easy to go in when you penetrate. I've heard penetrate, pen a trait, because my pen a trait. It's easy to go in when you penetrate. I like the way he spit it. King Los, second round, was his best round. Was one of the best rounds from anybody the whole motherfucking night. I'm just going to be honest with you. This nigga second round, he went to the moon. Go! Out of here, this motherfucker was wildin' in his second round. First round, I gave the day. Daylight won the first round. That nigga first round was fucking crazy. You see it? The daylight first round was so crazy. I was like, if he's coming like this all three rounds, Los is gonna have a good night, but Los is not winning tonight. Cause Daylight's first round was just that crazy. C Finn, you gonna have to fend for yourself, C King. I'm catching this shit. <laughs> I am I am catching this shit. Um Lowe's comes out, I ain't trusting nobody who's saying they've been zipping it. Who? Took a little shot at K-Shine. I ain't trusting nobody who's saying they've been zipping niggas up. Crazy. Uh, gave the goat to the god. He was asked out. You should have knew this was a sacrifice. Now Lowe's is dibbling and dabbling. Now he's You should have knew this was his fire. Um, how you claiming your arm strong when you got caught writing that bullshit you can't play off when I'm mic'd then? <laughs> Caught writing that bullshit you can't play off when a mic did. King Los is wildin'. He's wildin'. Tell Aubrey, Drake, tell Aubrey I ain't gotta pull a Drake to get light skinned. When he start rapping, I'm not gonna ask when King Los start rapping like that. That's almost disrespectful. He said, they said light gonna push your melanin when I want, only when I'm sun gazing. Oh, I wanna earn mine. He starts saying, I wanted to earn mine. Uh, tell this nigga, until he unblock me, I don't want to hear shit about light got dimensions. Because light has dimensions. But until he unblock me on Twitter, I don't want to hear shit about... <laughs> Kick Lose is wilding on this nigga. Uh, he said, I don't think where your material lies is very solid. Just because he mattered to me, don't mean he exists. He gonna say holograph, holograph, he gonna holographic shit, and I'm gonna walk right through him. This nigga, King Los, was bugging on Daylight in the second round. I told Daylight, too, in our exchange that he got his dumb ass smoked in the second round. I swear to God, I told him that. I don't really be, what I say? I said, I said, how you feel about the battle overall? He told me how he felt about the battle overall. I said, your first was noodles, you got your dumb ass smoked in the second though. I told him that, I will show you, but you know, I don't want to do all that. I told him you got his dumb ass smoked in the second. So let's lead to the second. Daylight second was, not, it was very short and it wasn't memorable. I would let something fire fly, but they gonna say light bugging. Your family gonna have to post more of them. I heard that kind of like a post mortem line, like a your funeral, post more of them, mortem, post mortem. Cool, but. King Lopes left the fucking world in the second round. There's no need for me to even drag it out. Third round, though. King Lopes had some fire. Daylight had some fire, too. King Lopes had the Spider-Man, um, the, the Captain America scheme. He kind of took Daylight shit and flipped it on him. It was fucking crazy. Uh, Spider-Man downfalls, being black, will get you Captain America. These cats will have you looking up at the Doctor Strange. <laughs> These cats will have you looking up at the Doctor Strange. I know I heard somebody said uh, I think Jaden Nightwing might have had a Doctor Strange. Listen, my nigga, I ain't the motherfucking almanac. I'm not remembering who said what in all these battles. I really don't give a fuck. I like the way it was packaged right here. If the nigga said another battle, cool. Don't don't come at me about this shit again because I can really fight. But uh, 
the doc, the doc Strange like I liked it. I think Jay did say some shit like that before, but I don't think Los is watching a lot of Jay Nightwing's battles, so we're not gonna do no ten four. But let's move on. Um, how you gonna judge a speech and wait 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 hold on no no. He said if ARP brought me two jokers and I took them out in my plan with a full deck fire. Uh, you was kicking all that deep shit to a motherfucking grave digger. Crazy. I'm gonna kill him like God did Jesus. Sometimes you gotta kill a nigga to save niggas. That shit was crazy, Los. Sometimes you gotta kill a nigga to sit. Look at me when I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Sometimes. That shit was one of the craziest lines of the whole fucking battle. Uh, I got a gun so big it'll only fit in Hitman's duffel bag fire. Uh, daylight third round. Pulls out the ski mask. He jumps into a set of bars. Uh, something Bill Cartwright is going to be bad for him because Bill Cartwright had a bad form. That shit was crazy. Uh, how you going to judge a speech impediment when your speech ain't settling and that's the battle truth? That shit was fire. Like, that shit was crazy. Um, guess the sound when I add another five inside. That was dope. Uh, knowing I don't need a single gun line when I'm the architect because architect, gun line, architect. <laughs> All you finna do is bow down. Yo, both of their third rounds was fucking hella crazy. The way I got the battle personally, I got it as a 2-1 daylight edge, but daylight played with his food. Los second round was so crazy that people, a lot of people are gonna make this battle debatable, and there's gonna be people who's gonna give the battle to King Los, you know what I'm saying? Because Los showed up and did his motherfucking thing. Uh, what we'll do, I'll go through the other battles and tell you once again who I thought won. I mean, I, I, I spoke about it more than once, but, uh, I will say this, overall, there were some battles on there that just did not meet my mark, per se, of what I thought would be fire, but they still happened. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. You had A-Ward versus, uh, A-Ward versus Rosenberg Raw. That battle was cool, but both of them have done better before. So, you know, uh, I, I, you, like y'all know, if, 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 if A-Ward have a battle that's crazy, I'm definitely recapping it to its fullest extent. But they did not have the best performance that I've seen from either yesterday. Uh, so I have 2-1 A-Ward edge. Uh, Big K versus X-Factor, 2-1 or 3-0 Big K. Uh, X-Factor wasn't really that good. He hasn't been good for a while, but he really wasn't good yesterday. Ill Will versus Jag. Jag got body bagged 3-0 by Ill Will. I heard Jag has... Arsenal next. That's what I've been hearing rumors I've seen online too. If he does, he better he gonna have to go back to the lab and straighten that shit up because uh Arsenal will do you worse than um hit than Ill Will did. But Ill Will needs to start getting some bigger names on some bigger cards. ARP, look out for that man. That man been putting a lot of work in for you. Make it happen. Uh Daylight versus King Lowe's. I got 2-1 Daylight. Calico versus Hitman. I got Hitman 2-1 Edge. Showtime! Talk to him. Pop at you lames, cause I'm sucker proof. Woo! Don't play no games, boy, I'm buster proof. Pop at you lames, cause I'm sucker proof. Uh, don't play no games, boy, I'm sucker proof. Rest in peace, Nick, man. Y'all already know. Y'all better bring them stacks out. Cause I'm here to recap about RBE's max out and let me tell you something I gotta get these facts out let's just get it in okay it's your boy Showtime as Peter nobody that knows bodies bah! Ooh, rare breed entertainment we had a good night we had a good night started off a little you know and then it ended off the right way you know what I'm saying salute to ARP salute to Lawrence salute to Shada everybody in the rare breed camp and everybody that's in that that building, okay? Thank y'all, crowd, for being a little bit more respectful this time. I appreciate the 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 half gas, the not gas, and the booze and the trash. I like all. I appreciate the fact that y'all were being a little bit more even tonight. I, I I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Another thing. Shout out to RBE for getting these battles rolling. And once they got rolling, they was rolling. Listen, I was at work, right? So I was, I was, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing my thing. I'm working, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm out here working on the railroad all the live long day. And all of a sudden, I checked my watch. I was like, let me check and see if this joint live right now. Boop, I already got in there. I'm already in the middle of 
Rosenberg Raw vs. A Ward. Don't worry, y'all. Don't worry, y'all. I saw more. I saw most of the battle. I got like literally like in the beginning of Rosenberg Raw's mic check. All right, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? I was with. I was. I got there. I got there. Let me say this: Rosenberg Raw is very hard to beat on that RBE stage because for some reason Rosenberg Raw just be too real or I guess he's too aggressive or like you know what I'm saying like it's the believability and when you're battling a ward if you are the over aggressor we know that but at the same time some it'd it be working you know what I mean like I like the material that both of them had but I just feel as though this was not the best a ward um and it's this Rosenberg Raw was as good as the show off, but not as good. Like, if y'all get what I'm saying, like, I don't know. I think that battle to me is a toss up. I, I that do because of the fact that it is such a toss up. Um, again, let me say a war two one. Uh, first, uh, I'm gonna say the second and the third. That's where he was heating up. But I did, I do like what Rosenberg Raw was trying to flip on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that shit. I do, I do. But when it's an angle that's been overused about you being a church boy and, and you know, you're not really from the streets and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is an overused angle. But when you do it well, it works. And for Rosenberg Raw, that you expect Rosenberg Raw to do it that way. So it kind of works that way. In that favor, me personally, it's a toss-up. Y'all can say who won that one, but I think I got a word uh, in that one. 2-1. Then we got to the first bad, uh, the the first body of the night, and yes, I said it's the first body of the night. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. X Factor versus Big K. Big K. Um, three, three O. Um. <sighs> all right. So like, Big K really was like, he was being Big K. Um, we was trying to see what X Factor was going to bring, and X Factor was X Factor. He didn't have that many pause worthy lines, and that was good. And I appreciated that. You know what I mean? The material that X Factor brought, it definitely had that Midwest feels with the multis, and then and then the, the punchline at the end. Like it, it sound good from X Factor, but it just just wasn't hitting. I think. You know, maybe you got to knock the ring rust off a little bit or something like that. But, I mean, that is what it is. But, I mean, I, do I want to see X-Factor back? I, I wouldn't just see him again. I would like to see him up against somebody else um, other than, you know, who you normally just put against Big K, who was one of the Wolves on RBE. I'm just saying that. And that, that's just happened in there. That's just how that happened, okay? I'm just, I'm not going to watch that battle again because it, it just wasn't, it wasn't crazy to me. That is what I'm saying, dude. Don't shoot the messenger. Hey, y'all watching this on the recap day after anyway. So, <laughs> in my opinion, really, it really, it still matters. I'm just saying, I just, I, I just got that as it is. Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. So, we're going, we're just going to talk about this one. Uh, nah, let me, let me, let me go ahead and flip flop that. Um, another body of the night. Um, let me, uh, now this one, this one was little. This one, this one was was a body, all right? Ill Will versus Jag, okay? Jag's soul was just lifted to the heavens. Like, it's it's not even here. Like, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that Jag didn't choke, he gave us three full rounds, and it still wasn't enough. And he he did what Jag was supposed to do. He was he, he was going to throw in the real, the, you know, the blood, the real blood, the real blood, and, and he was, and you know what I'm saying? He was... He was he had a cranky third, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 Jag's thing. He's a disrespectful, disrespectful third round guy. So that's what I'm saying is that Jag got definitely in that. Now, it will, sir. Thank you. Let me just get that on out the way. Thank you, it will, because um, Jag felt as though that he was like maybe one or two more battles away from one or two more wins on RBE to think that he the RBE king. He think he was going to be that nigga. Thank you, Ill Will, for giving him a reality check. You know what I'm saying? You showed Jag that there are different things to win a battle other than just rapping. And Ill Will was doing all of that. So thank you, Ill Will, for doing all of that. I just... I just it, I'm giving y'all these recaps because, you know, I, I, I'll do a bar breakdown. Plus, Bob already was doing the lines already, so I, I ain't even got to give you all of that. You know what I'm saying? I let my brother work. And don't get mad if my brother want to work. Nigga, it's his job. Sorry, my bad. I, my bad. Bob, you're right. I'm not going to yell at them because, you know, they don't know. They don't They don't know. They don't know that you, you, you put me here. I just became good at what I do. 
because I'm just a nerd, okay? That, that's, that's pretty much it. You just let a nerd in your house and break down bars, and you take in all of the nerdy stuff. So, like, I just made the jock do homework. <laughs> Thought I was going to walk off on that one. Man, ill will with the 30 ball, all right? On Jag. And listen, it started to get it started to get dark blood, and then when it turns a little violet, that's how it's dark blood. And then you might, cause never mind, cause it, well the color violet is more like a purplish color, and it, it technically would look like a dark bloody. I, I tried. You see that reach right there? I tried to reach for it. It didn't work out. Right now, I'm going to give y'all the other recap on the other on the next joint. Because that one needs to be fully talked about 100%. But let me just let y'all know this. I watched King Los versus Daylight twice. It's so much shit I ain't even catch. Bro, when I... Alright, so... Alright. Alright, let me, let me just explain to y'all what was going on in the battle. They really were just fans of each other. Daylight and Los are clearly cool with each other, so it was not about to be a user. <laughs> it was none of that. It actually was for people like me who appreciates bars and trying to stretch their mental capacity to the furthest extent. Now, the fact that y'all did all of that and the crowd was regular like there was not really many boos like it wasn't no boos or nothing like that because the crowd was growing up and i appreciate y'all for growing up you know what i'm saying like y'all was doing the y'all thing for growing up but king lose Ver king lose verse daylight will be broken down by your boy because that shit needs to be discussed in full thing how you do a stepbrother line you do a stepbrother scheme that we all know that can happen it has happened before you know what i'm saying but the fact that you put the stepbrother scheme and you also did a Will Pharaoh and still go nuts on the drum. Like I will Far like a Pharaoh. Like they made it Egypt. Y'all niggas was bugging for no reason. I just need to know why we gotta talk about this again. Cause we gonna talk about this again. Hey, you forgot about one. Oh yeah, hit me. Yeah. Ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in the streets. Rest in peace, King Nip. Stay dangerous, cause motherfuckers play for keys. Keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster. Better keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster. With all that internet beefing, how you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes, you do it for likes. Go viral to get killed later on that night. It's shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype. For them views, you really just paid with your life. All the real killers I know, they don't be online. And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie. I ride around me and Hamela and 